Hey, 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 I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Dan and welcome to the Mobile Artist Cafe. Have you ever sent off your final brochure or poster idea and then your best idea hit you? Been there, done that. In this episode, I'll show you how to use a basic texturing technique to help your ideas pop off the page and come to life. So sit back, grab your Apple Pencil, and follow along. Oh, dude, that sounds like a Mondo tubular idea. So break out the dip and let's get this party started. Hey, Otto, you read my mind. So today we're going to be working on a poster design for a yearly outdoor festival and we want to make sure that the visuals in the poster entice the viewer to want to come to the event. In this original layout we can see that things are laid out very well and it has good spacing and it is very easy to read. However, it is also very boring to look at. So what we did on the next attempt was above and below where it says bamboo garden, we added a little banner to put the text over to highlight that text a bit more. And we also increased the thickness and the font used for the main body of type. All right, using earth tones, I will apply a little color to the title and texture it with an image of bamboo so that you can see how the process works. All right, so we're gonna go over here into our layers and we're gonna select the title. Now I'm gonna change that title to a shade of green, kind of a yellowish green. And now I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna grab an image using place image. We're gonna grab an image of bamboo from our photos. All right, so this is the image of bamboo that we're gonna grab. So we're gonna open that up and we're gonna place it. So I'm gonna tap and hold on that layer and once I'm able to lift it up, I'm gonna bring it down to where it snaps into the middle of the title layer below it, then I'm gonna let it go. So now you can see that it fills in that area and I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees because I want it to be a horizontal fill and not a vertical fill. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna take down the opacity a bit so that you can see the green color through the bamboo texture a bit. And this group right here, this is the landscape. So if I open it up, you can see the individual parts. You can see the foreground here, middle ground. These are all mountains in the background, sky as well as water. So what I've already done is I've gone through and let's tap the sky layer here. All right, on each of those layers, I've gone through and I put a pixel layer above it. And then I've taken that pixel layer, holding it, then dragging it onto the layer below it. And that's basically going to create a cutout. So with that cutout, I'm going to go in here and for each one of these, I'm going to go and draw inside of these textures. I'm going to paint inside of the textures so that we have a nice looking Asian background here. But first, let me turn off this text so it's not in the way. We want to make sure that we change to our pixel persona by clicking this little icon here. And that will allow us to draw on the individual pixel layers. So we're going to start with this mountain layer and we're going to be using an ink pen large from the pen section. All right, under brushes, we're going to go under pens and we're gonna go down to ink pen large. And we're gonna be using 16.9 pixels, 100% opacity. And we're just gonna draw along the edge of our mountain here. And we wanna make a slightly jagged line by waving back and forth to make it look like it was brushed and try to stay right along the edge.
All right, so that's the outline for our mountains there. Next for the mountains, I wanna use a watercolor brush. So we're gonna go back to that first mountain. I'm gonna go here, tap on our brushes, tap on pins, and we're gonna go over and scroll until we get to watercolors. Under watercolor, we're gonna look for a diluted grainy brush. Diluted grainy, there we are. And for the diluted grainy brush, we're looking for a size of 258 pixels. And 100% opacity. All right, so we're gonna go back and make sure that we're on that front mountain layer. And we're gonna start to paint. Now we're gonna go back to our pens and we're gonna use the ink pen large again and we're gonna put in some details. To texture the water, we're gonna use a diluted grainy brush under the watercolor brushes. And there we have our water. Now we're gonna go in and do the sky. And for the sky, we're going to use a watercolor brush called Dense Watercolor. Pixel size of 128 with an opacity of 17. We're gonna use gray for the clouds. And now we're gonna do some details with black. And we're trying to get a contemporary look for the old Asian style of watercolor painting. All right, so now we're gonna put our text back and see what it looks like. Okay, not bad but we're actually gonna have to tone some things down so that the text is not competing with the background. Gonna go from our pixel persona here back to our design persona. Now we're gonna come down here to this box and we're gonna create a box. All right, so we need to go up here to our palette, click on that little black circle, make sure that we click on the outline and that we click here on that little dash to get rid of the outline. And then we're gonna go back up here, click on the color shape and we want it to be white. All right, now we just need to click on our select icon there and we're just gonna transform this so that it fits just inside of that box. And now what we wanna do is go to that individual layer bring it down, make sure that it's above the landscape layer. Then we're gonna click on this little icon here so that we can adjust the opacity of that layer. And we're just gonna bring it down to where we can just start to see what's in the background, maybe around 70%. Go over here to layers. And we're gonna go down to the bottom and we have a bamboo garden layer that's turned off right now. We're gonna turn that on and it's actually set at 10% opacity. All right, so we also have a layer below that, which is a colored rectangle that goes behind the bamboo garden title. So we're gonna drag this on top of that rectangle and let it go. So now it only fills in just behind the title. We're gonna go to bamboo garden, then we're gonna come down here to effects, and we're gonna select out of shadow. All right, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and do the bamboo stalks that are in the foreground. We're gonna be using the dense watercolor brush with a setting of 128 pixels in the width and the opacity is 100% with a 50% flow. We turned off the white layer since we have its opacity adjusted to where we need it. So now we're gonna go work on that pixel layer below it 
and start painting the bamboo stalks. And we're going to turn back on the layer with the white rectangle and turn back on the text and we are good to go. Well, that's it for now. I hope you picked up something you can use and I'll see you next time. And as always, on behalf of myself and the gang here at the cafe, thank you for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check back each week to stay up to date with our latest information. And don't forget to leave any comments or questions in the details below. And you have a fantastic day.